You're watching the Axe NIBC series at the Somos Metro Classic. Across the Hudson River, in Union, New Jersey, at Division III, Kane University, taking the stage is the best high school basketball team in the nation. Number one, Montverde from Central Florida, and La Lumiere from LaPorte, Indiana. He signed with Louisville. Zade Lowry is headed to Marquette. Glenn lost the handle. Yaldin picks it up. Yaldin got it. About Caleb Glenn, the fact that he needs to be better with his ball handling. Fortunately, Gus Yaldin picked it up with the early bucket. And McNeely against Montbird. These teams met at Hoop Hall January 14th. McNeely on the drive, and he's got his second back. But if you look at how Lalimur played last time against Montverde, they had 27 assists and only eight turnovers and still came up with that L. And again, you almost have to play a complete perfect game. Winning out, as you mentioned, Ted, is difficult in the NIBC because every night you're going against arguably some of the top talent in the country. Their high school careers with him. And so, yeah, just a, a great testament to a great coach and you can see with the results with the and the active hands that the Lakers have this step really exhibited in this first quarter. Lowry, good from three. Last going to Duke. Yeah, good job thus far by the Lakers protecting that defensive glass and really for the most part only allowing uh, one shot at the goal. Yaldon and Pat Holmes, his head coach, says from August to now, he has a totally different body. He has committed to improving his conditioning. Oh. Allowing Sean Stewart to come off the bench. Now Boyle nice wants Stewart to be more aggressive, and how about that inbounds play? Chris Johnson to Liam McNeely for the bucket. McNeely with nine of Montverde's 14 points. Yeah, yeah, good job of execution by Montverde, and again, you see that shot cred credibility with Liam McNeely, and it, it allows Off him to get free. And Stewart lays it in. Down low, Yaldin doubled, wow. and Queen rips it away. McNeely, pull up three. They would be firmly in control of this game, and La Lumiere only averages a little under 13 turnovers per game, and they already had that in the first half. Well, you know Kenny Payne is star for talent right oh. now at Louisville. Can't wait for Glenn to get there. Errant passes and casual passes and just not taking care of the ball. Liam McNeely stop. Ball over. Lob it inside, McNeely in too deep. Stewart banks it in. For La Lamere in the middle of the court when Montverde keeps jumping Trenton Walters or whoever's the ball handler, you have to recognize that they're bringing that double team. Gus for that second chance scoring opportunity, and that's something that's going to help him in the collegiate ranks, his ability to ahead. McNeely is 10th, Queen is 9th. Lowry, deep three. I can see him continuing the collegiate ranks. Yaldon, so effective in the post, battling with Queen, he goes reverse side for two. Gus Yaldon has a bag of tricks in the post. Yeah, yeah, Derek Queen just did not play Gus Yaldon appropriately. You can't allow him to get that low in the block. Chris Johnson with his first basket, the floater goes. Johnson headed to Kansas, was 0 for 3 in the first half. Walters breaks the press, and Trenton Walters. I'm pretty sure we did Cooper flag at the hoop hall, and he had, yeah. he, he just wanted two chicken quesadillas, and it <laughs> turnovers and just shooting yourself in your foot. And yeah, it's just an, a steady implosion by Lalamir throughout this game. Newell, the offensive rebound after the Gibbons miss. McNeely launches. He has a basketball out in the perimeter. You have to run him off the line and force him to attack the rim. I say it. And Henderson just joined La Lumiere last month, coming in from Corning High School. And that's what they feel, Isaiah Henderson. 10 point lead for Montverde after the McNeely follow. Glenn on the attack, and Glenn punches it home. Henderson gets it into Glenn, swallowed up by Evans. Glenn got it back. Block 
blocked again by Evans. Two terrific defensive plays by the McDonald All-American. And Gibbons. Zade Lowry down the baseline for two. Trent Walters found him in a timeout as La Sunrise Christian also in the NIBC. Here Montvert trying to close it out. Up by eight and Liam McNeely with a high efficient shot and he's being successful with that throughout this game. Nice pass. McNeely dumps it and Sean Stewart. And the lead is a dozen. Walters, the tiny point guard, headed to Radford. Stop. Force and implore him to shoot more, and you see how effective he can be when he is aggressive, and Lalamere needs more. A move similar to what Gus Yaldin did, and got that early position, and then once he had that, he was able to go up for an easy bucket with not much defensive help. Count the basket here for Caleb Glenn. It's a goaltend team at the time. Oh, McNeely wants more. Guarded by Danny Murray. Not the post move. Couldn't hit. And is that going to count? It will for Derek Queen. Yeah, touch the rim, shot clock reset. Well, it's clear to see that obviously we saw the top team in the country, Montverde, and they fought through adversity. Lalamere came out playing exceptionally well in that first quarter and a half, uh, but they weathered the storm and utilize their plethora of talent that they had out on the court. And you saw why Mount Verde Academy is one of the best teams in the nation. Down by seven in the second quarter, Mount Verde flips the switch as they usually do. 62-45 the final. Mount Verde wins its 10th in a row in NIBC play. They're alone at the top of the standings at 10 and one.